how did you get into drumming? Like, what's that story? Oh, that's a really, that's actually a really good story. So, basically, when I was like a little toddler, I can remember, I would like bang on all the tables and the desks and I'd be boxed for people. Mm -hmm. And I always like thought in my head, I was like, wouldn't it be really cool if there was like a bunch of people that came together and like banged on the desk in sync? And like, I thought that in my brain, I was like, well, there should be a team that does that. I was like, that's just too bad. When I was a senior in high school, I kind of got my shine. I got my moment. We had a band director switch mm -hmm. from core style marching band to show style marching band. Mm -hmm. And that's like boring to fun. Oh, I don't know. Nice, <laughs> I don't nice, know. Nice. That's how I think about it. And our entire drum line and band basically like dipped. They quit. Yeah. And like they didn't want to be a part of it with the new band director. So we had no drum line. And I asked my band director, I was like, can I play the drums? He was like, please. He's like, we don't have anybody. I don't even care. Just play. I was like, okay, yeah. So I um, just hopped on, and the drum instructor that he hired worked with me, and I got really close to him. And I practiced, like, every day. This was my senior year of high school, by the way. Dang. I practiced, like, every single day for, like, hours and hours. And I'd find people on Instagram that do what I do now. And so I would watch the videos. I'm like, I could do that. Six months in, I auditioned for the NC Seuss Airline, and I made it. Like, it's like, yeah, it's never man. too late to start. So NCCU is North Carolina Central University. Mm -hmm. It's in Durham, North Carolina. Um, HPCU stands for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. And back in the days of segregation in the U.S., blacks and whites couldn't attend the same schools, the same colleges. Um, so they had to create their own schools for just blacks to attend. And, and those universities still exist today, but it is majority black attendance. It's kind of like BYU. Sure. But like just flip reversed. it. Reverse. And I loved it. I felt so like cool. I felt like I fit in, like it felt like my place. Um, yeah, HBCU drumline and marching band is like nothing you've ever seen. They high knee march, they dance on the field, they play really cool music, mm -hmm. stick visuals. It's oh, like yeah. everything is entertainment based. And it's just like they really know their audience and they nail it. And it's wow. so fun. When I got to BYU, classes were way more demanding. I, they had such a higher practice requirement for me, and I was studying instruments that I had never played before. But I have definitely learned that there is a lot of power in being a very well-rounded musician. And I feel better about it now. Like, I could go, I can do more things now in my career. Certainly. That, but if I just would have stayed there, I wouldn't have been able to do.